Now, the Baltimore, Maryland Museum of Art has one of the most prominent collections of historic and contemporary African art in the United States. This year, it devoted an exhibition to artists from the continent who produce cutting-edge work. VOA's Zoe Ludaki takes us on a tour. Race and privilege, colonialism and capitalism are among the realities negotiated by the artists in shifting views. The works in this exhibition were brought together because they all address global capitalism and the migrancy that helps fuel it. Shifting Views focuses on the work of seven artists from Africa or of African descent who use their visual vocabulary to tackle social, economic and racial disparities. Let's take a tour. First stop, Senano Gunzeto, who was born in Ghana. All facts have been changed to protect the ignorant. It's essentially about that first migrancy that fueled those first global economies. And that was the trade of humans from Africa into slavery in the Americas. Okudzeto is inspired by shipping records that refer to individuals as units of labor. A male between 15 and 25 years of age was considered a full unit. Like they were torn from a shipping ledger. You can see the representations of the globe, for instance, that are divided as an accountant's grid and they stretch out across oceans and across time to what was eventually you know, 450 years of transporting humans into slavery to fuel the capitals of Europe and enrich the coffers of Paris and in Portugal and in London. We move to the abstract drawings of international art star Julie Maretu, who was born in Ethiopia. In this particular series, which is called Landscape Allegories, representations of fields and agrarian scenes. In each of her works, there are always what she calls dots, dashes, and squiggles. And those she calls characters. And of course, characters are human beings. So when you see a tiny dot or a tiny dash or a little squiggle, I'd like people to think about that as a human, somebody who's energizing this field, who's working on the farms in America. She identifies with individuals who rock the boat, as she says, especially now at this point in the super rapid evolution of a geopolitical global situation consumed by and with American capitalism. William Kendridge is South African with an international career. His work often deals with the built-in inequality of apartheid. This piece is called Industry and Idleness. Here we find the very people who are laboring to fuel South Africa's apartheid, to clean the tables of corporate offices at night, to you know, try to find an avenue to make money in Johannesburg. Meanwhile, this industrious individual, the counterpart to this migrant, is the idle person. Each one of these works pits an industrious, hardworking migrant against somebody who's quite idle and enjoys all the privileges that apartheid afforded to white people. Tomorrow, we will continue our tour of the exhibition Shifting Views. Zoe Liudaki, VOA News.